Welcome back to another episode of Best Watches on eBay. Now we're going to start off with a brand I haven't mentioned before and I'm not really that fond of, but this one is superb. This is the Bell & Ross BR05 G-PB. Catchy. So this is full box and papers 2023 model and look at that. Isn't that nice? GMT with the rubber band which matches the dial. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot lie. Exhibition case back. A bit boring, to be honest, but still nice. We've got a video. That's the video, folks. Still under warranty until August 2025. Definitely have a gander. Oof. I'm sorry if you can hear the fan from the computer. I don't know why it's killing itself. It's literally on eBay. It's not really that hard, is it? Next up, we've got the Yigalakuta. This is the Night and Day Reverso. And oh my God, do I love a Reverso. They are sensational. And look at that. Isn't that just stunning? And then wait for the other side. Oh, I must admit the other side's better, but that is sexy. Oh, look at that dial. Ooh, what a stunning watch that is. Folding clasp as well. The definition on that dial is so sexy. 10.5, if I had the money, I'd just pay it. Definitely have a gander. Zenit El Primero, Charles Vermont. Box and papers, this is a limited edition. This one really stood out to me because of the gold accents with the blue is really, really nice. I think it looks sensational. Full box and papers. Look at that dial. Exhibition case back. Zenith make sensational case backs. Purely because their movements are sexy. My God, look at that. Whew. Lovely dial. Condition-wise, it's pretty immaculate, to be fair. Folding clasp. Wooden box. It's what a proper box looks like, Brightling. But my God, look at that. Isn't that sexy? you got the Zenith Star on the chronograph hand as well. If you're interested, definitely have a gander. We've got another core career, ladies and gentlemen. The IWC, or International Watch Company. Portuguese Green. Now, this is the IW371615. Look at that dial. Oh my God, is that nice. One thing that struck me when I saw an IWC in person the first time, the case finishing is exquisite. Look at that exhibition case back. It's a bit boring, to be honest with you. But it's still got the protection film on there, apparently. Oh, look at that. That is a stunning dial. Dated 2021. And then the indices are just pressed on instead of printed oh my gosh and then you've got the deep and sub dials it's giving me shivers shiver me timbers wow that's nice five thousand off for about four eight phenomenal definitely have a gander it's going downhill now tudor ranger 16.95 i've had one of these before really nice watch to be fair but they have gone up in value recently but this one's a bit more realistic condition wise it's pretty good to be fair it's pretty immaculate i think it's got some marks in the class but that's to be expected full box and papers it's pretty sexy wait for a seller offer definitely have a gander grand seiko snowflake the sbga211 this is another grail watch of mine it's on par with the cherry blossom i think i'd rather have a cherry blossom to be fair but this is sensational look at that dial 3250 i feel like it would go for around 3.5 it has got full box and papers 2018 model it was purchased for 4750 but Grand Sega don't hold the value very well. Exhibition case back, pretty sexy. Condition-wise, it's pretty immaculate, but look at that bracelet. Holy moly. That has definitely been in a knife fight. Ah, explains it. It's from London. Other than that, it is pretty good condition. I would ask if there's any spare links because you can just change them. So definitely have a gander. Last but boy golly not least, we've got the Grand Seiko SBGP007, James Bond. But this is the limited edition 60th anniversary, and look at that dial. I don't like the red second hand, 
I must admit. But other than that, it's pretty sexy. Condition, not too bad. I, that is either a piece of lint or a humongous scratch. But I would expect it to be a scratch. The dial looks so lovely in different lighting. Look at that. You can't even see the detail. It's just a lovely deep blue. Got three extra links. Harsh lighting, so it's going to show a lot. But it's not too bad. I wouldn't say it's too major. 1500 I haven't seen one of these before, so I can't really say how much you'll go for. I would say because it's a Grand Seiko and limited editions aren't really that big of a deal with Grand Seiko. I'd say this will go for around 225 I think that's pretty realistic, so definitely have a gander. Absolutely sensational. Thank you for watching the episode. I appreciate you making it this far. So, uh, subscribe, playlist, video. Tá, vem muito.